I'm a woman in engineering and I'm on Team Valero. I'm on Team Valero. I'm a woman in engineering and I'm on Team Valero. I am on Team Valero. Energy just goes beyond, you know, what you pump at the gas stations. It has to do with every product that we almost come into contact with every day. So if you think about it, a lot of the things that we use in our everyday lives are petroleum derived. The energy industry, specifically refining, is uh, the physical embodiment of everything in chemical engineering. All of chemical engineering first principles are present in the refinery, so if you're really interested in core engineering, the refinery is the perfect place to be. I love working in this industry because I love seeing concepts that are in the classroom that you don't really get to see played out in real life situations. I solve problems and I get stuff done through troubleshooting, day-to-day -day monitoring, optimization projects for different units in the refinery. You need to be able to communicate and be able to explain what you're doing and why you're doing things and how you're drawing your conclusions. Sometimes the job is a little bit like a combination of investigator and salesperson. <laughs> the refinery is a very dynamic environment where you get a lot of opportunities to try different roles. You can really do a lot of different things. Your degree may be in chemical engineering, but you could end up on the business side, you know, as well as in a technical role. That one job, that first job that you get, doesn't necessarily have to be the one job that you have. You will definitely have the opportunity to try different things. I remember taking the intro class and just being blown away by how complex it is as well as how I felt like if I did engineering I'd be able to be a better person problem solving wise and have more confidence in my day to day life and that really appealed to me. What really keeps me engaged and excited about my job, it really comes down to the teams that I get to work with. I love the people that I work with, uh, they're amazing. We make a difference to our company and so uh, having that common goal and teamwork and drive behind us, um, I really enjoy it. We work with fantastic people. We recruit outstanding engineers. It's really a privilege to work with such talented people. And when we get together, we actually can make decisions. Uh, the culture at Valero is really about driving Team Valero and that spirit. And it's really refreshing to know that the person sitting next to me in a meeting really has the same goal and wants to do the right thing and make the best decision that we can for the company. I thought it was very neat that you could take natural resources and turn them into something useful for society, whether it was gasoline, diesel, fuel that you could use on airplanes. And I was very excited when I got opportunities out of college to join the industry. To be honest, I get to come to work in coveralls every day and I'm very comfortable. Um, but I get to work with lots of fun people. I think I was just really excited to be part of one big team and have the flexibility to get dirty and have, you know, different disciplines to be able to work with and learn a lot of different things. I like to be hands-on, so the emergency response team was appealing. One of the best things that the emergency response team has given me is the teamwork aspect, working with people that I may or may not work with on a daily basis. We get to know each other on a different level and you establish a different level of trust. You have a better working relationship and you really know how to use their strengths for, for the good of their area and the company. One of the biggest pieces of advice I'd give to a woman engineer entering the industry is to identify mentors at every step along the way, men or women. Um, your mentors and your connections and your network really help develop your career. So I didn't have an internship before starting my career here at Valero. So honestly, I had a lot of anxiety on my first day, you know, thinking that I needed to know everything. And the reality was nobody expected me to know everything on my very first day. I had a lot of mentors who helped me from day one and still to this day help me. I've found mentors in all places in this organization, ranging from, you know, managers, operators, and everywhere in between. There's just so much to learn and to know and so many people that will help. I ask dumb questions all day long. <laughs>
The best piece of advice that I would give would be don't be afraid to speak up. We want to hear your ideas and you're here for a reason. Treat people like people, listen to them and you'll find other things that you can connect with. Um, and you don't have to change who you are to be successful here. There are going to be times that you're offered roles and you know, different opportunities that you otherwise may not understand how it fits in that overall picture of your development. Stay open-minded and go into those opportunities to learn as much as you can because when you look back, I think you'll realize that some of those roles were the most rewarding. You know, you're on that unique path for yourself and that's part of your overall development.